Hi, this is Thundi from borderwap.com and today I'll be showing you how to set up your D-Link Boxy Box. So what you need are your D-Link Boxy Box itself, your HDMI cables provided for you, your power adapter, your Ethernet cables, and of course your D-Link Boxy Box remote, which is essential. So first of all, I'm going to plug in the uh, power adapter. Sorry about that. <coughs> This would be plugged in at the where it says power. And of course you plug it to your socket. Don't turn on the device yet. Then you connect your HDMI port to where it says HDMI out. Now of course I'm not connected to my TV yet, so this is just to give you a connection demonstration. And then your Ethernet cables to your router. And um, that should be plugged in right there. Once that's all plugged in, you see the power button there at the top. Flip it around and hit the power button. The boxy box logo comes up, shows your device is powered. So you know your device is powered and on, and you are good to go. So let's go ahead and set up uh, the system on the TV. So that's the startup. Once you plug in the boxy, you do get the boxy loading screen. Might take a while, not too long. Startup sequence, which we cannot bypass. Alright, so it says welcome, hit the center remote uh, button, and then scan for wireless networks. A couple here, you can just join. So while we wait for it to connect, um, you should be able to connect your network, set it up. You can also plug it directly, as I showed earlier with your router, with your um, Ethernet uh, cable. But my router is far from here. So become a welcome to Boxy uh, existing user and new user. I believe I have a Boxy account. I just can't remember which it is. So. Let's try that out. Let's see if we um, so boxy connecting. All right, um, powered by MDB. XBMC, would you like to set screen calibration first? Uh, let's do that. Say yes. Hit enter on your keyboard. Over scan 3%, 16 by 9. Uh, you have different options there for your calibration. And you can move back around with directional pad. Hit enter. Seems fine to me. And you have your boxy. Um, uh, login screen. At the very top you have your box, it has your name there, um, <clears throat> your TV shows, apps you can download, files, you got movies, you have music, you have photos. Um, you can enter in photos, I have no photos here, so there are no photos. Um, Shortcuts and drift to the side. Um, 
hitting the menu button brings you the home menu screen so I'll go back to home um, let's see let's see what apps we have here of course we do a full review you got the boxy browser you have last FM crackle uh, YouTube uh, those are my apps um, see uh, app library what's there if there's a uh, Hulu I'm not sure if Boxy is available, who's available Boxy, but you can see the different Boxy apps out there. You can download, uh, have in your system. You can also stream, of course, across your network. So, it's quite easy. So, let's head back, hit the home button, go to the home screen. And uh, um, yeah, so that's you can move around the directional pad, and this just shows you know featured items I have. Uh, your apps, your files. I don't have any files in the system. On the top right hand corner, if you go up the directional pad, you can go to your settings, which is highlighted in green. On uh, top left hand corner, sorry. Now that's local sources, look and feel, media systems. So let's go into systems first. And, uh, and look at that, you have your system information, has the uh, boxy version, um, IP address, all that fun stuff. You can go into audio output, HDMI, you can mess around with that if you want to. Updates, we can check for updates, and of course advanced settings allow you to debug and clear your files and things like that. So I know there's an update for boxy, Check for Boxy updates. A new version of Boxy will we would like to download it. Yes. So don't forget to download the new version uh, of the updates. While this is downloading, you can move around and do other things. So head back to the main menu. There. Uh, we have media files. We have look and feel. We have local sources. Hit enter local sources. You can add sources. Uh, rescan to, to basically add. Um, sources from files which I will do in the review and I'll show you you guys in the full review um, <clears throat> but you can add sources from different locations of your uh, network so if you have you know um, folder or something then definitely sure you can do that um, you can change your look and feel you know weather location I'm not in New York I can change that IP in Boston. I must say this keyword with the system, uh, reversible keyword is a fantastic idea. Um, changes the weather, Boston Mass, and shows you the weather time format. I can also change my screen, of course, it's 1080p. Um, I can put a screen save on. Now, of course, you just reset because the update was done. Now, although they don't give you a warning, but when that happens, you know your system just had to do a research. So, of course, I can do that. It's changed. New version available. Click here. Actually, hasn't installed. What do you want to do? Shut down. Change you just stand by. No, I do not want to do any of that. So, I'm just going to head back. Um, let's go back into settings. So, like I said, you can change your look and feel. Hit enter. Change your language keyboard type, sounds, and advanced and show hidden files. So we head back. Um, personal. You can feed in display videos from Facebook and Twitter. So you can actually add feeds into this. So um, let me see. You must visit the Boxy website to activate this service. So we'll do that and we'll show you how that looks in the review. Um, of course, you have parental controls. You can set that up, you know, uh, parental locks and things like that. Um, network, you can also change your network here. Uh, start network, uh, change network. You can enable proxy servers, website proxies, VPN, advanced network configuration. Wireless, you can change the wired, things like that, um, and you can 
basically search, go back and search for other wireless networks that you have available. So um, there is uh, it's a lot to choose from. Um, you can definitely search and find and do whatever you need to do. So let's head back. And uh, yeah, yeah, again. And of course, you do have your media. One more thing: videos, sizes. Uh, you can set this up. You can set up your music. What to play next? You can set up your photos. You can go advanced with thumbnails and things like that. So overall, the uh, boxy box uh, setup. You can see how everything works. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and update uh, to newer version, and uh, we will do the review. So I hope you guys enjoy that. Um, if you guys have any questions, any comments, let us know. This is Thunder E from Waterworks saying thank you, and I was enjoying entertainment.